All right, so y'all wanted to see my stuff. Well, there's a spooky cat. The church uh, recently got some new bookcases, so I was able to unpack uh, three more boxes of books. And here they are in the communal living space. There's some guitar stuff over there. And we go through the wretched hallway into the room. Please ignore the mess. So, uh, bookcases, let's go. Over here, we have the usual suspects you usually see behind me in my videos, chock full of the books that I use most, the bulk of my prayer book and patristic collection and Bible collection, various service books. Uh, I use that flag to cover a massive hole in the wall. Uh, these are the icons that sit over my, my busted futon that is actually not much more than a frame with a particle board under it. There's Mama Cat. Uh, I love this icon. I have a special devotion to the holy face of Jesus, so I keep it very close to where I sleep. Uh, some plushies, because I'm into that sort of thing. There is that beautiful crest that New Rome Press uh, donated. Yeah, okay. Uh, this is a painting that my roommate did for me uh, last year for the show. Doesn't really get enough attention. Uh, onto the icon corner, which is what a lot of people Believe it or not, it surprises me. A lot of people ask me about my icon corner. They want a tour of my icon corner, so we're going to go through it really quick. By the way, that clock's broken. So, uh, right away, uh, we have Christ in the Theotokos, of course, and I've got some mini icons in there, too. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, let's move counterclockwise. We have my patron saint, St. Raphael of Brooklyn. This icon was given to me by my godfather at my chrismation uh, all those years ago. Uh, St. John, the uh, wonder worker of Shanghai and San Francisco. Uh, this is uh, St. Luke. Uh, this was a gift from my mother and my mother's husband, Doug. He's a swell fella. Uh, this is St. Peter the Alliot, who is the patron saint of my dear father, Peter uh, Robichaud, who is now in Greenville, South Carolina. Uh, Elder Dober Dobrev, for obvious reasons, guardian angel as well. Uh, here we have uh, Protomartyr Albin of the British Isles. Look him up. Very interesting fellow. St. Pantalaemon. Love the unmercenary healer, St. Pantalaemon. Uh, we have the uh, unexpected joy, of course. Uh, St. George, another uh, gift from my mother and Doug. Uh, was given to me along with the icon of St. Luke. These are the, uh, it's the new choir of Athenite uh, saints. Uh, Joseph the Hesychast. Uh, Ephraim, uh, Porphyrios, and Isaac. Uh, Saint Nectarios of Aegina, of course, the great wonder worker. Uh, the Port Arthur icon, because the Port Arthur icon, Holy Cross, you know. Uh, this is actually, well, San Damiano Cross, I just love it. This is a, uh, this is a calendar, actually, that uh, was given to me by Dr. Professor Stephen Hill. And then moving back across here, we have the, uh, what some might say is not, shouldn't be, why you got that? It, it, listen, they're new martyrs, okay? I don't care that they were Coptic. Uh, St. Ignatius of Antioch, because, respect. Now, let's go over here to the desk area. This is where all the recording and note-taking happens, and it's usually just a big hot mess. Uh, I'm still not very happy with my microphone. And anyway, behind uh, the camera, we see Elder Emilianos of Sinomos Petra. Uh, love that guy. He was my, he's my, um, was my, uh, my uh, bishop's uh, spiritual father. Here we have another icon of St. Ignatius from uh, Legacy Icons. And this one is very special because it's actually one of the masterwork icons that was given to me. And I have yet to do a review on it. Uh, hand carved. Came with a certificate of authenticity. Um, so yeah, it's uh, pretty rad. I love it. I love having him nearby when I'm recording along with Elgar Emilianos and another icon of St. Raphael of Brooklyn, again from Legacy Icons. Uh, about half of my icons are from Legacy. Uh, here we have a pile of prayer ropes <laughs> and chutkis and uh, ladders and a watch. Um, this uh, one in particular uh, the cats really like this one because it has nylon at the end. Uh, so, yeah. Uh, let's see. Got some more books and stuff in there. And that's pretty much it. 
That's uh, that's what people have been asking to see. I don't know why. It's not terribly interesting. But, uh, oh, I do have a couple more icons here. Okay, so up here we have uh, the Tree of Life. Um, and that was given to me by my dear friend Doug Dexter, who gives me rights to church. Uh, this is St. Moses the Ethiopian. This was done by Sarah Creek. Also a gift, also awesome. And I might as well show you uh, a few more icons as we go through the disgusting living area that is 99% not mine. Uh, friend sent me those, so I keep those on the table here. And Spooky's right there. And then out the window, you can see a little Theotokos on the uh, on the post there. And can we see it from there? Yes. The Agony in the Garden, right there. Um, so yeah, that's it. This is this is my hellhole. This is uh, this is terrible. Like none of this stuff is mine. Like all this. Well, I mean the hats are mine, but like the furniture, all the clutter, boxes, chairs. It's, it's, those two guitars are mine. The bookcase is mine. The hats are mine. The cats mine. The icons are mine. Everything else is someone else's. So anyway, okay, I'm gonna turn this thing around and uh, sign off. Um, there you go, enjoy.